Hello and welcome back in my shed. Uh, today I've got another package from a friend. This is a Bose CD player is all I know. Um, and apparently it stopped working. They've had a look at it. Um, they can, from what I remember, they can get it to accept the disc but they can't get it to eject or the system won't recognize that there's a disc in there so I don't know what it is um, I haven't opened it I haven't looked at it and I certainly haven't worked on one of these before so let's get inside and see what we've actually got a remote a Beach Boys CD and a little note okay so hi Steve really so thankful for you looking into my Bose problem we had a CD stuck Mick managed to get it out but I can't get a CD in again let me know that won't matter loves Carol PS I've worked a cheapo CD for testing but I can't use that because it'll get took off YouTube I've not included Internet Hub as I need download an app. That's not a problem. Phone number there if needed. PTO just noticed LED lights fading. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay. Oh, it's one of those, what are they called a sound wave? Yeah, Bose Wave Music System 3 plug it in and see what's actually happening right this is really awkward for me to see now so let's go on to CD and it's saying there's no disc so I think for this one we will sacrifice the, the Beach Boys we'll pop that in the front Ooh. Okay. It goes in so far, spits it out. Not sure about the LED lights fading because I don't know how bright or dark they were in the first place. Uh, is there a setting on here? Not that I can see. Okay, I think the best thing to do is take its clothes off and see what's inside. We get the covers off. The screw missing. And we'll see what's what. Yeah, everything's coming apart but remaining connected, so hard to get on camera at the moment. This looks bent. I can't feel it pushing anything as I push it in so, and I can't see a sensor that says there's a disc here but there must be one okay so there's a sensor right in the middle and then it takes the disc it only goes in halfway, and I think I can see why. It's really hard to see anything, but just down there, it looks like the piece that finds the centre of the CD is out of position, which will be connected to this part. 
So for now, I think the best course of action is get this all disconnected again. Get this out of the way for a bit. I can only see one screw. Right, I'm, I'm going to have to interrupt myself here. Um, I have taken hours and hours of footage trying to get this thing working again. Um, it is now working reliably. Uh, what I'm going to do is just quickly recap what I've done and what I still have to do in order to get the system working properly. Okay, so if we look at this part, this is now fine. There was a problem with what I call a scooper. So this part here, let me zoom down even more. Okay, so this part of the mechanism here actually scoops up the black disc that we saw before. So when the disc goes in, these open the disc for the uh, black centerpiece, falls down onto the disc using the magnet. Um, and holds the disc in place to keep it central then when it ejects this scooper comes back in lifts the black disc up and then the CD can eject so what was happening and I can show you a bit closer I couldn't manually get this part here to work so I could put a CD in manually and all the bits and pieces open up and allow the disc but once it got to that stage where these legs have to move I couldn't find out where on the mechanism I had to hit a switch in order for it to start sliding so what was happening then when it was going in this one wasn't scooping the black disc back up again so the other two, these two, were going underneath the disc and lifting it and that side was staying down which meant that next time you put a CD in it might go in, it might not, with a bit of wiggling in and out it would go in but it just wasn't reliable so I'll flip this over now so you can see it here the disc is actually loose and then these move in and out I guess it when it drops the disc down this part must move into this little recess and allow the disc free movement but it just wasn't scooping it back up again it was going the other side so that's now working reliably and I can quickly show you how I had to adjust that and then perhaps just show it working a couple of times reliably
unfortunately I didn't get any footage of me actually making the adjustment to this scooper part the best I can do is show you this screen grab which is taken from the video which shows the scooper in the red circle is above the black disc whereas the two that are shown in the yellow circles are below this seemed to happen after about every three or four times I put a disc in and out what I didn't capture was me actually just bending the uh, the bottom left scooper into shape so that it matched the other two exactly and this means now that it regularly and consistently lifts the disc up when it ejects once that was working reliably I came across a problem that I didn't know about which was it wasn't reading CDs it just kept coming up non-playable disc so the system knew there was a disc inside it just couldn't read it um, so I spent quite a long time uh, altering the potentiometer on here so here's the potentiometer I spent quite a lot of time adjusting that to somewhere between 1 and 1.3 kilo ohms uh, but it was staying solidly at 2.2 then getting the whole system back together and just managing to look through I could see or rather I couldn't see any light coming off the laser whatsoever so from there I spent quite a lot of time testing all these capacitors I had to test them in circuit because they're the awkward ones with that you can't really desolder and solder back on without replacing uh, but everything seemed okay uh, I ended up reflowing just about everything just giving it a little bit of fresh solder where I can get to uh, but still nothing was coming out of the laser so I took the decision to buy a new part which is here well, that's better it appeared that a little bit of moisture got into the lens one thing I was worried about was how the laser became faulty because obviously it was working before the disc got stuck um, I don't know what Mick did to remove the disc uh, I don't know how far he took it apart uh, obviously with a, a laser you have to be careful with static now I am more or less constantly grounded against my big metal toolbox which uh, if I just get shaky cam there you go. so there's my big metal toolbox under my workbench now I am constantly grounding myself against this over saying that now I am going to be using um, a grounding strap which I'll clip to my box so I'm safe to handle now I will hand, keep handling it down to a minimum now so as you can see on this, this blob of solder shorts out these two tracks. Now that is to prevent static charge going up to the laser and destroying it. Uh, on the old one, that wasn't um, shorted, so yeah, theoretically static could have gone up here at any time uh, whilst it was being handled. Okay, so enough waffle. I'll now get this mechanism swapped over with the old one I'll rebuild the, the unit give it all a good clean inside and out and then once everything's done I'll get rid of this solder and then hopefully we'll have a completely working Bose wave once more so to remove this it's one two three screws and unclip this
that's one screw missing there. I was missing already, that's a broken post inside. And there's a little pad missing from there. I think that might be something they put on themselves. Right, let's turn it over and pray it works. Don't really want to have to take it apart again. Well, the time's wrong. Okay, and then there's this scratch, which has happened here, which I'm really annoyed about. I don't think it's a scratch. I think it's probably come off a cable where in it's just rubbed. But I've tried to clean inside the texture, and I can't. It just won't come out. So it's annoying. It's powered up okay. Yeah, obviously the time's wrong. But I think that they connect this to a hub anyway, so I, I guess that um, the internet will put the time right. Okay, I'm just going to pop the disc in and pull it out just so that it can reset itself inside disc error okay oh So happy that that works. I can hear the disc spinning inside, so there might be something that's slightly out, but I really don't think I can do anything more with it. I think when the rescue attempt originally to get the stuck disc out, I think that's put something out of line, and I haven't got the precision to put it right. Well, oh, but it's reading discs. Track two. Okay, so that's all I can do for this. Um, quite a tough one in the end for something that was going to be you know, fairly easy. Uh, but enjoyable for me, I mean, I have cut out hours of footage where I've been fault finding on a dead laser, basically. Oh, hello. Meatloaf, don't want to say no. So yeah, a lot, a lot of fault finding on a dead laser. So that, that did waste a lot of my time. But I am actually trying to learn to diagnose faults, so that's a real big learning for me. Uh, anyway, that's that's it for now. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. I've got something in my shed. Take care. Bye for now.